Hi, I'm Ajay Setaram, Cloud Architect here at Okta. In many organizations that use G Suite, there is a need to be able to transfer the drive contents from one user to another. So think about a user deactivation scenario. As a part of that user deactivation, you may want to take all of the user's content and transfer it to their manager. What we're going to show you in this sample is how you can perform that transfer, put in the transfer request, and then be able to make sure that that transfer has been completed. And this is a perfect example of a time-bound action. So in order to get this working, you have to set up a Google uh, Suite, G Suite account and then a Google Drive connection in Octo Workflows. So as a part of this, you would have to consent to providing uh, the various permissions. And once that connection is set up, you would use that connection setting in the Octo Workflows uh, for creating the transfer request, as well as checking the status of that transfer request. We use an Okta table in order to be able to track these transfer requests that have been put into Google. Coming over to uh, G Suite, over here you can see that I've set it up so that Drive and Docs are available for all users in the organization. So let's go ahead and create a, a document. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is transfer this document and all of the folders from Luke Skywalker to Obi-Wan Kenobi, who is another user in the G Suite org. So what happens here is we create a transfer request. We get back from Google a transfer ID and the transfer status is being in progress. We create an entry in an Okta table. So let me come over here, refresh my screen over here. You'll see that there's one row and with the G Suite transfer request ID and that it is going from Luke Skywalker to Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now I have a schedule flow that can be set up to run periodically and check the status of that transfer request. This points at that same octet table. It retrieves all the rows and iterates through each of those rows to go ahead and check the specific transfer status. Let's see it in action. So it finds one row over there and when I come over here, since it has completed, it goes ahead and deletes that row. Coming back over to Google, you'll notice that this has, file has now moved from Luke Skywalker. You can see that there is a folder, Luke Skywalker, which contains this test document. So this might be part of a larger flow for user deactivation. So we transfer the folder contents and then perhaps we take away the license from Luke Skywalker. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for listening.